Today I will discuss about automated perimeter. Let's start with the introduction. Automated perimeters are computer assisted static perimeter. They automatically test supra threshold and threshold stimuli of a particular point in the retina. Then they match the identified data of that particular point with the data of same point of same age group of normal people to quantify depth of visual field defect. As they compare patient's data with the normative data of same age group, so age is most important factor for this test. We must cross verify the age of the patients, whether patients are using their certificate age or original age. Commonly used automated perimeters are Octopus, Fieldmaster, Humphrey Field Analyzer. Now you might be thinking, how does a computer assisted software detect visual field defect? To know how does a software detect visual field defect, first we need to know about threshold. Threshold Minimum amount of light required to see an object is called threshold. Below this level of light, object can't be seen, it will be invisible. Now let's see how it works. In our retina, macula has the finest threshold, even with very dim light we are able to see object. Threshold increases from macula to periphery and we need brighter light to see object. Thus, in our retina, in different points, we have different threshold to see any object. What software does? They flashes different intensity of light in particular point to identify threshold of that point. When they identify the threshold of that point, they compare this threshold with the data they have for the same age group for this particular point. If the threshold is higher than the normal data they have for the same age group, then they show scotoma or visual field defect in that particular point. This is how they identify threshold of different points in the retina and then compare with the normal threshold for the same age group and give interpretation. Now how to identify threshold? There are two strategy software uses to identify threshold in any point in the retina. A. Supra threshold testing. It uses stimuli that are brighter than the threshold. Software has normative data for all group of age. Suppose if any particular point the threshold is 30 decibels, then they will show brighter light like 28 decibels or 26 decibels to that point to identify whether patient is able to recognize or not. It's a screening procedure to identify gross visual field defect. B. Threshold testing. In threshold testing, software presents stimuli that is dimmer than the threshold and wait for the patient response. If no response from the patient, stimuli is increased generally 4 to 2 decibels till stimuli is seen by the patient. It gives better result as stimuli start with less than the threshold. This strategy has three types, one full threshold, two first pack, three sitter. Let's know details about these three types in the next slide. One full threshold testing. In it, a stimulus is presented at a test point for 0.2 seconds and the machine waits for a yes or no response. If the stimulus is not seen, the intensity of the stimulus is increased in 4 decibel steps till it is seen. Once the threshold is crossed, the stimulus intensity is decreased in 2 decibel steps till the stimulus is not seen. 2. Fast pack. It is a more rapid testing strategy where the threshold is only crossed once in 3 decibel increments, but this strategy is often not appropriate. 3. CETA The full form of CETA is Swedish Interactive Threshold Algorithm. It uses a complex model to estimate threshold values based on patient's response, information for nearby location, patient's age, neighboring thresholds, prior distribution of normal and glucomatous visual field behavior. It available as CETA standard, CETA fast and CETA faster. CETA standard can perform visual field testing in about half the time of older full threshold strategies with no significant decrease in precision. 
CETA faster reduces testing time by about half compared to CETA standard and by about one third compared to CETA fast. CETA fast and CETA faster produce interchangeable test results. Now let's see variables of automated perimeter. Background illumination. Background illumination is 31.5 decibels. Stimulus intensity. Stimulus intensity is in between 0 to 50 decibels. 0 is the highest intensity and 50 is the lowest intensity. That means lower number indicate higher intensity of light and higher number indicate lower intensity of light. Stimulus size. There are 5 stimulus sizes are there, Goldman 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Goldman tree is considered as standard size. Stimulus duration. Stimulus duration is 0.2 second that is less than latency time for voluntary eye movements. Stimulus intensity scale. Decibel and apostille scales are used. Decibel scale with range of 50 to 0 decibel and apostille scale with range of 0 0.1 to 10,000 apostilles. Now, programs available in automated perimeter. 1. Central visual field. A. Central 30-2 test. Here, 30 indicates this test will examine the central 30-degree visual field and 2 indicates it will examine two sides, temporal and nasal side. It consists of 76 points 6 degree apart on either side of the vertical and horizontal plane. B. Central 24-2 test. It consists of 54 points 6 degrees apart on either side of the vertical and horizontal plane. C. Central 10-2 test. When most points shows depression in 30-2 and 24-2, it helps to assess central 10 degree. It consists of 68 points 2 degrees apart on either side of vertical and horizontal plane. D. Macular grid test. It's done when the field is limited to a central 5 degree. It examines 10 points. These are the others program available in automated perimeter. Now, procedure of automated perimeter. Patient's preparation. Explain the patient about the test because it is subjective test and test procedure is complex. Tell the patient to keep his or her chin in the chin rest and forehead in the head rest and fixate the central fixation throughout the test. Tell him or her that he or she can blink normally and if they want, they can have a break in between the test. Test parameters to fill up. Fill the patient's data carefully like age, distance and near correction, test types, IVP, pupil size, etc. Test Procedure Throughout the test, the patient is advised to press the button if they see any light while fixating the central fixation. Depending upon the responses from the patients, software give interpretation of the patient's visual field along with the accuracy criteria like false positive, false negative, fixation losses, etc. In the next video, I will discuss details about the harm-free visual field analyzer report. Till then, stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.